Bruce's personality from one of his friends. Aaron Banks, you knew Bruce well around this time. What was he like? We met while he was doing the Green Hornet. He was a great guy with a fine sense of humor, and he was always experimenting with new things in the martial arts. Uh, when you got together, what did you two discuss? Well, we spent most of our time complimenting each other about our various accomplishments. All finished. That's quite a scrapbook. You really accomplished a lot. Thank you, but I don't think so. You've done more in a few years than most men have done in a lifetime. Don't you agree? Nope. Aaron, it's you who've done a lot. You're the number one promoter of martial arts in the world. No, Bruce. It's you who's been the number one promoter of martial arts. Hey, while we're here, come on, show me that uh, new maneuver you've been working on. Occasionally, though, uh, he would show me one of the maneuvers he was working on. Watch closely, Aaron. It's a very fast and deadly maneuver. That is a pretty sharp maneuver. It's something I've been working on for a while, my friend. Is it related to the touch of death principle you recently rediscovered? A variation of it. How so? Psychological. Get it? Very much so. What are you smiling at, Aaron? That looks just like what one of my students at the Karate Academy is working on. He's working on it because I showed it to him. Well, that extra footwork you added really gives it a whole new dimension. You better believe it. Splits the attention. It's really meant to distract you, Aaron. Can I teach it to the fighters I train? Even though you're the best handler of fights around, I don't think so. Well, if that's the way you feel, I'll go along with it 100%. So you can see, Bruce was really a very good-natured fellow. Thank you, Aaron, you for know. that interesting glimpse of Bruce's choir side. I know you have to get back to the yes. scorer's table, so I, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you. So, there you have it. The Bruce Lee story. The early years. Told by the people who knew him best. A colorful story which gives great insight into an often ignored, but nevertheless, critical part of his life. I hope you've enjoyed our little halftime show.